Many have tried, but few have succeeded to figure out how the heck timing works inside a fusion. Well, let's let's see it. <laughs> here we have a clip in fusion. And if you're like me, you look down here at the nodes and you're like, where, where are the layers? How do I figure out when things happen? If I have a text on here, when does this happen? When does the text happen? All the time? There's no way to see in here. There's no timeline. When, when does this happen? Short answer by default is anything that you make, like text or a background or anything, will occur for the entirety of your composition, which is based on your background image whatever clip you started with. This clip happens to be 404 frames long, and so that's how long our text is. If we want to adjust that, we have to go into Secret World. Up here where it says Spline and Keyframes, you can click either one of these to get a little bit of details about how things are timed. So let's start with Keyframes because that's gonna be sort of easier. And here we have sort of a layer stack, although this isn't in much of an order that makes sense. This does show the various nodes and when they happen in time. And you can grab one and move it back and forth and trim it just like you would in an editor. And if you have anything animated, like let's say this text, I don't know, starts out really small and then it comes up like that. Now we have this little keyframe graph here and I can grab either of these keyframes and move them back and forth. I can also see the keyframes here on my timeline, but I can't move them. And so that's really where you kind of move things around a little bit. There are a lot of details in this keyframes panel that we haven't really gone over. If you want kind of a detailed tour, let me know in the comments, but let's also check out the spline panel. So I'll close my keyframes and open up spline. And this is just gonna show anything that's actually animated. And also you have to tick the checkbox. And if you click this little zoom to fit button, now we can see a great big detailed graph of our animation over time. And this is a great tool to use, not so much for messing with timing, but for messing with the way things move. So we can kind of start this flat and have it ramp up slowly and come to a stop a little bit slower. If you hold down shift, you can move this back and forth without moving it up and down, which is kind of cool. And so that is good for retiming things. And I actually find myself retiming things quite a bit here as I can look at all of the animation graphs kind of more zoomed in and more detailed. But those are kind of the main two basic places, is the spline panel and the keyframes panel. By the way, on this keyframes panel, if you select the property that you're animating and you grab this and move it back and forth, it'll move everything all at once. But if you select its parent like this, you can move one at a time. That's just a quick little tip and that one's for free. So now you've learned some stuff in Fusion that also happens to be the key to comedy, which is timing. That might not, probably is not even that funny, but whatever.